He's thrown a tantrum here and there, borrowed a bat to win the World Series, and won awards for philanthropy. And he's stripped totally naked to motivate his teammates. But what do all these character displays tell you about Anthony Rizzo's secret lifestyle? Crazy spender? Big mansions? Magnanimous? Weird? Or just something low-key? Let's go find out. Do you know that one thing Rizzo is famous for, aside from being a multiple Golden Glove awardee, or an all-star player, or a World Series champion who presented Barack Obama with the Cubs jersey at the White House, he's also well known for his philanthropic services. In 2012, he founded the Anthony Rizzo Family Foundation in Parkland, Florida. The aim of this foundation is to raise money for people struggling with cancer and for scientists involved in cancer research. It may look just like another foundation on the outside, but there's a bit of backstory, a pretty scary one that could have seen the end of our first baseman. At 18 years of age in 2008, when Rizzo was playing for the Boston Red Sox, he got his first career fright. It wasn't an injury from play, it was something worse, cancer. He was diagnosed with Hodgkin lymphoma, even while his grandmother was also battling breast cancer. At this time, Rizzo said he had no idea what cancer or chemotherapy was. Nevertheless, the youngster was immediately placed on chemotherapy for six months, and luckily, it paid off. In September 2008, his doctor told him he was recovering, but would still need a lot of treatments that would last a few weeks. At the end of all the follow-up treatments, his doctor told him he was free to live a normal life. Rizzo later told WebMD in 2016 about his experience, saying, My doctors were really encouraging at all times. They laid out the treatment and what had to be done. We never had any doubts that I would be cured. My family was also there for me every step of the way. My mom, my dad, my brother, my grandmother. That kept me strong. And now, he's trying to keep cancer victims strong as well. His foundation has received support from Nike, the Chicago Cubs, American Airlines, Fanatics, and Lexus. The nonprofit has raised millions so far. It gifted $3.5 million to the Lurie Children's Hospital in 2017. The following year, he donated $305,000 to the victims of the mass shooting in Parkland, Florida, where he had grown up and finished high school. He's done multiple career events such as the Walk Off for Cancer, Laugh Off for Cancer, and Cook Off for Cancer. All his charitable gifts has earned him the prestigious Roberto Clemente Award. This award is only given to a select players for their positive contribution to society, and our beloved Rizzo bagged his own in 2017. Apart from giving, another thing he knows how to do is lead. When Rizzo retires, he most likely would be a coach because one thing this guy knows how to do well is lead and motivate. It's said that he is one of the major reasons why the Chicago Cubs won their first World Series in November 2016 after going without the title for over 100 years. The Cubs had been down 3-1 in the series against the Cleveland Indians. Team spirits were low and frightened already scared that the famous curse that has prevented them from winning the title since 1908 has once again wrapped its fingers around their neck. But Rizzo, probably thinking that the secret to breaking this curse is a man's bare butt, decided to strip completely naked in front of his team in Game 7. Since the team went 3-1 down, he chose to be the leader and decided to give motivational speeches in the clubhouse. He did it before Game 5, and his team won, so he continued with the habit, doing it in Game 6 and Game 7. Tom Ferducci of Sports Illustrated had written a book titled The Cubs Way, The Zen of Building the Best Team in Baseball and Breaking the Curse. In his book, he revealed that Rizzo had told him, and a quote from the book read, An hour before the seventh game of the World Series, Rizzo stripped off all his clothes, cranked the theme from Rocky on the clubhouse stereo one more time, jumped on top of a coffee table, and began quoting lines from the movie and throwing his best shadow boxing punches. Pitcher Hector Rondon, joining in on the hijinks, picked up an aerosol can of a shoe cleaner and sprayed it in the direction of Rizzo's groin. Don't worry, it's okay to laugh if you want to. Another thing Rizzo had done in that World Series championship was to borrow Matt Caesar's lucky bat, maybe. He was having a bad spell with his own bat and decided to make changes to it. This is contrary to belief that he had borrowed borrowed Matt's bat, he had opened up to Tom Verducci yet again, saying, It allowed me to free up my hands and not have to use my body because at the end of the year, I was so beat, I guess. 
In the beginning of the playoffs, I was missing fastballs. I kept asking myself, why? My swing is good could be psychological, but I think not. But I think taking the extra inch off and lightening my bat, I started to get to those pitches again. Rizzo seemed to have done a lot of weird things in the 2016 World Series, but if they all worked for him, who cares? Certainly not the Chicago Cubs who gave him a $41 million contract extension in 2013 when he was only 23 years old. Their bargain had paid off hugely, 100 years without a World Series title, and three years later, that all changed. However, they traded him to the New York Yankees in 2021. The deal allowed for an opt-out after the first year and was worth $32 million. Aside from the millions he earned from his salary, he also has endorsements with State Farm, Body Armor, Bona Beef, Sony, and Ford. He has also had deals with Nivea Men and BMW. It has an estimated net worth of $27 million, and do you know what he spends most of his money on? Sharks and vacation. Just kidding. But Rizzo does like taking vacation, and we are sure you do too. But are you brave enough to swim with sharks? Let us know in the comments section. Rizzo, on the other hand, isn't afraid of sharks. He even called himself alongside other tourists the Shark Whispers on Twitter one time. He had been vacationing with Emily, his fiance at the time, in the Bahamas, and one of the places they had visited was the Compass K, an island which had sharks in its waters. A lot of fans were scared for the first baseman, but he looked pretty calm with his company. We do not know if he had a yacht that helped him see the islands when he's back on land. He drives a blue Ford Bronco, courtesy of his deal with Ford, and has posted about the gigantic truck before on his Instagram page to thank Ford for providing it for him. And when it comes to living, Anthony Rizzo does it big too. In 2013, when he accepted the seven-year contract extension from the Cubs, he got himself a house. The estate, which is located at 6747 Northwest 63rd Way, was sold to the first baseman at $1.83 million. The home spans 8,000 square feet and comes with six bedrooms and six bathrooms. On entering through the security gates, you're first welcomed with well-manicured hedges and lawns. It has the first impression of peace and tranquility, even in its modern extravagance. The driveway and walkway are paved with marble and are flanked by beautiful landscapes with fountains and grottos. There's also a pool that is styled like a lagoon outside. The house is equipped with a four-car garage, security system with cameras, and a full house generator. If you decide to stay outside with all that it has, you'll still enjoy your money's worth. But let's go inside, shall we? The interior is airy and light with marble flooring. The coffered ceilings carry hanging chandeliers and the doors and windows are large. There's a white onyx stone fireplace, a wine room, a movie theater, a steam room, an island kitchen, and most importantly, a batting cage. He'd lived in this house for seven years but had to sell it after he joined the New York Yankees. Speaking to the Compound podcast about moving out of the house, he said, bittersweet trip, officially moved out, which was tough, leaving where we lived for seven years. Emily was there with me for six. Emily, by the way, is Rizzo's wife. They had met during a spring training the Cubs had been on in 2016. Emily had been an intern with the Cubs nutrition team and Rizzo had been struck by Cupid. He soon started to chase after her, but she didn't budge for a while. He told Splash Magazine, I was relentless in my pursuit of her. Asked her to dinner, but lunch was the compromise to keep it more professional. One lunch led to a text that said, sorry, maybe once the internship is over, we can hang out, but not now. But that later dinner turned into a proposal to Emily Vacos in 2017. On Lake Michigan with fireworks coming after Rizzo's bended knee to brighten the occasion further. After this engagement, they moved into their new home in Fort Lauderdale, also in Florida, but this one cost him $4.5 million. They were married on December 29th, 2018, and teammate Chris Bryant was part of Rizzo's groomsmen. The couple both have a dog, which was adopted by Emily and named Kevin. If you enjoyed this video about Anthony Rizzo's secret lifestyle, check out the video on the screen now, or the one we posted below, because we're sure you'll like that one too. See you there.